problem on the, the source transformation. So here we are going to uh, consider the circuit diagram. Let us consider the circuit diagram. So we need to find out the equivalent circuit between the terminals A and B. This is a circuit diagram where it consists of the, the current sources, five ampere current source, uh, two ohms and two ohms in series with the uh, 10 volts power supply, three ohms and uh, 10 ampere current source is in parallel with the another two amps current source, but the polarity of these two are reverse. And this is a one ohm resistor where we have the uh, parallelity is connected between the all the terminals. We need to find out the equivalent uh, circuit diagram between the terminals A and B, which consists of the single voltage source and the resistance. Now, what we can do is here uh, we can see we can convert the 10 volts and the series with the two ohms as a uh, voltage source into the current source we can do convert and we can add the same polarity the same direction currents we can add for example 5 amperes can be added to the 10 amperes and since the 2 amperes is flowing in the opposite direction we can take the difference so let us uh, add these things so 5 plus 10 will be 15 minus 2 will be the 13 amps will get and the resistance 2 ohm and uh, is in parallel with the 3 ohm is in parallel with the 1 ohm and we can perform the source transformation for this one so this will become the current source it has been shown in the next step here so we added the current source 5 amperes and 10 amperes and 2 amperes the resultant will be 13 amps we get and the 2 ohms is in parallel with the 3 ohm is in parallel with the 1 ohm we'll get and uh, this performing the source transformation it has become 2 ohms in parallel with the current source we'll get which will be a 5 amperes we'll get now what we can do is let us find out the equivalent resistance for all these uh, resistance which are connected in parallel. So this will become 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4, 1 plus 1 by 2, which is equal to the 1 by R equivalent we'll get. And uh, the 13 amperes is in uh, parallel with the 5 amperes. Both are in the same direction. The total current will become equal to the 8 amps we'll get, 18 amps we'll get. And uh, the equivalent resistance will be 2.33 ohms we'll get. And similarly, what we can do is we can represent the circuit in the either the current source in parallel with the resistance we can represent or else we can represent this in terms of the voltage source in series with the, the resistance we can represent. So performing the source transformation, we can convert this into the voltage source in series with the resistance. So this is the equivalent circuit we are going to get between the terminals A and B. We'll get the equivalent circuit we'll get. So uh, this is by obtained by performing the source transformation. Similarly, let us consider the one more problem where uh, we have the different uh, multiple sources are there in connected in series with this one. So let us consider the uh, here we need to find out the the equivalent circuit between the terminals A and B we need to find out. So we need to convert the circuit into the single voltage source in series with the resistance. Let us consider the circuit where the three amperes current source is there and two amps connected in parallel with the two ohms and the four volts power supply. So this is the minus and this is the plus and connected in series with the two ohms and one amperes is connected in uh, parallel with the and the five amperes is connected with the, the polarity like this. So when now the circuit is given, what we need to do is we need to observe the circuit diagram where we can bifurcate the some of the terms and where we can take the series parallel connection. We can, we have to observe the circuit diagram in the detail we need to observe. So if you observe here, you can see the three ampere current source is in parallel with the five amperes current source. And also here the two amps and the two ohms and uh, this is there. And we can bifurcate the, this part of the network we can bifurcate here. So this part of the network we can bifurcate. So, so what we can do is we can separate this as upper one and we can separate as a lower one so that the analysis of the circuit will become very simple. It will become and we can perform the uh, easily anal analyze the circuit diagram and we can evaluate the, the required quantity. Now what we'll do is uh, uh, this circuit diagram, let us by forget here. So two amperes, two ohms. In the meantime, we can convert the four volts in series with the two ohms as a the current source. Let us uh, convert here so that uh, this will become equal to the, the current source two amps. That is I is equal to V by R. So four by two will be the two amps in parallel with the two ohms will get. The circuit will become like this. It will become here. Uh, we can uh, convert the two amperes in parallel with the two amps on current will come and two ohms in parallel with the two ohms will get. And in the below one, we can uh, separate this one as below one we can separate here. So this will become equal to the uh, one ohms in parallel with the two ohms will get. The circuit will be become like this. 
so this is obtained by performing the source transformation for the four volts it will become we'll get the circuit diagram like this and when you, if you observe the circuit diagram so here the two amps current source is in parallel with the two amps current source so that uh, both are with the opposite polarity so when the opposite polarity is there both the current will get cancel each other so when the current is cancel each other means so that will the for the flow of the current we required the the closed path is required if the path is open we can assume that current will be equal to zero if the current is equal to zero we can assume that so this is the open circuit we can assume here so this part of the circuit we can assume as the the open circuit we can assume open circuit since the current is equal to zero and this is also we can assume as a open circuit we can assume since the current is equal to zero so when there is a open circuit for this one we can see the two ohms will come come in parallel with the two ohms will get here so we can find out the equivalent resistance so similarly uh, this one we can evaluate this one so first two ohms in parallel with the two ohms will get and uh, one ampers is in parallel with the two ohms will get the better thing what we can do is so we can convert this current source into the this one ampere current source uh, one ampere current source in series with the two ohms can be converted into the voltage source let us do convert here and the, since the current is equal to zero since the current is equal to zero it's a open circuit and this is also the open circuit here so we'll consider two ohms in parallel with the two ohms we'll consider and let us find out the equivalent circuit and let us do uh, evaluate this one so we'll consider uh, this part we'll consider the the circuit diagram so i am going to relate the circuit diagram here so we'll consider the circuit diagram we'll rewrite this one so i am going to rewrite the circuit diagram so uh after reducing so the circuit will become equal to the so 3 amps will get and this is uh, the 2 ohm parallel with 2 ohm will become equal to 1 ohm here in the meantime let us perform the source transformation for this one so this will become the voltage source in parallel with the resistance will get and uh, this one is 5 ampere current source will be there so we are going to retain like that only the 5 ampere current source so this is between the terminals e and d so this circuit diagram is not there and your this is also not there so only we'll consider this one so two ohm parallel with two ohm will become equal to the one ohms and this is the three amperes current source and this will become the polarity will become one uh, current uh, v is equal to i down so one into two will become equal to the two volts will get and this is the two ohm will get and this is the five ampere current source will get like this now what we can do is, so we can what we can do is so this is the two volts is in parallel with the is in series with the one ohm resistor and two ohm resistor we can find out the equivalent resistance so the equivalent resistance will become equal to the uh, three ohms will get here in the meantime three amps is in parallel with the five amps both are with the opposite polarity the equivalent can be taken as a two amps will get here so since uh, we can the direction of that one can be taken as a the maximum power supply direction can be taken so since uh, 3 is lesser when compared to the 5 one the direction of the 5 amps will be taken so 3 minus 5 will be so 2 amps will get and uh, the resistance 1 plus 2 will become equal to 3 let us convert this into the voltage source into the current source so what will become is we'll get the 3 ohms resistor will get so 3 ohm resistor will get in parallel with the the current source in parallel with the current source the value of the polarity of the current will be like this so i is equal to v by r so v is 2 and resistance r is 3 so 2 by 3 will get 2 by 3 amps will get so this is the a and b and uh, since uh, these two are connected in parallel with the opposite polarity so let us take the the difference of this one so 2 minus 2 by 3 so it will become equal to the the current source in parallel with the resistance will get so this is between the terminals a and b and the value for the current will be so it is 2 minus 2 by 3 so let us take the lcm so 3 into 2 to 6 minus 2 so it will become 4 by 3 so 4 by 3 is equal to almost 1.3 uh, 3 amps will get here so the polarity of that one will be this one so it is 1.3 amps will get 1.3 amps will get here 
So 1.03 amps you'll get here, not 3, 1.03 in C parallel with the resistance. Or else we can find out the, the equivalent circuit we can find out in terms of the voltage source. So we can convert this as the voltage source in series with the resistance. The polarity will be the direction of this current source. So it is minus plus in series with the resistance. So this will become four volts and this will be the three ohms between the terminals A and B. So this is the final answer which consists of the four volts in series with the three ohm resistor. So like this, we can convert any given complicated network with the multiple sources.